Once the data validation is approved, the next step is to map your ledgers to pre-classified Schedule 3 compliant subheads in Azure AI. This can be done by going into the ledger classification screen. I will say no to this right now. Ledger mapping is a one-time exercise for each client. For the first year when you have inputted the data, you need to map the ledgers using a partially automated uh, feature. Subsequently, if the client shares new versions of tally data for the same year or for the next years, the system will carry forward the same mappings and you need to only map the new ledgers that may be present in the new version. As soon as you come into the screen, you can click on this auto map button to map your ledgers based on predefined mapping rules that are configured in the system. Auto mapping is covered in a separate video. How to configure the rules and improve the coverage of auto map is covered in a separate video. Coming back, once you have done the auto mapping, you can see in this case that there are about 400 ledgers which are to be mapped manually. This can be done in two ways, either at a group level or at a ledger level. Group level mapping shows you the entire tally group hierarchy. So you can go in and either expand and map the ledgers individually, or you can select a mapping at a group level, which will be inherited by all the children. So this way you can map the ledgers. The other option is ledger level mapping, wherein the system is not showing the ledgers in any hierarchy. It shows a flat list of the ledgers that you have. So ledger level mapping also comes with a bulk mapping feature, which I'll demonstrate to you. So let us say indirect expenses group has a number of ledgers, 73 ledgers, out of which there may be ledgers following a similar name pattern. For example, I have six building maintenance ledgers here. I can select all, bulk classify. All of them are profit and loss ledgers. Here the system will only show me profit and loss subheads. So I can select repairs to building and apply. So this way you can cover multiple ledgers under the same group or following a similar pattern in one shot. You can complete mapping using a combination of group level mapping and ledger level mapping. Uh, for, a, for a client with about 1000, 1500 ledgers, you can complete mapping in a matter of half an hour once you get used to how to do the mapping. Thanks for watching.